to the 2021 World Series of Poker Main Event. so Tilter, keine Ahnung, wenn die dann irgendwie einen Pott verlieren, weil der andere einen Call macht, den sie nicht erwarten, dann fangen die an. dann sind ja auch welche, die dann so den Kopf schütteln und so, so Calling Station oder Idiot oder so ein Kram, so wie ich auch schon ein paar Mal, ein paar Mal dann gehört an den Tischen, meistens Franzosen. <lacht> die ersten drei Levels werden wieder gehen und hinten raus wird es einfach wieder hart werden. Und wie viele Stunden Schlaf haben wir? Also wir waren um drei hier, sechs Stunden Schlaf jetzt. Ja. Das, ist schon, das ist schon krass. Dass jetzt eine Woche lang so geht. Some tips for, <laughs> for for my first day too, or for the main event in general for the community? Uh, yes, I do. So um, when you play the main event, I I think it's a very special tournament because the the crowd of people it's very different than other tournaments, especially for the high buy-in. So you see a lot of players who never play a buy-in this high, and for them it's a very special event, which will lead to a lot of people are quite weak. Yeah, they are, they are not really good at poker, they may, maybe play in their home games and then they play a satellite in their home game and then one person goes to the main event. That's actually how a lot of Americans go to the main and then they're the hero of their, of their home game. So identifying which player is which player is really, really important. Yeah, so you will see a mix of American cash game players who play this tournament as their only tournament, uh, home game players who play much lower um, in general, regulars, yeah, a lot, basically all international regulars. And making this differentiation is already the most important thing because you have to kind of categorize where these people are. And then do you talk with those guys to catch up some information? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Try to engage with... Because for me, it's like they know who I am. So for me, it's really important that I start to get to know where, you know, where they come from, what's their background, if they play poker. Just like, you know, are you, are you a pro? Do you play poker? Um, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? You know, ah, is this your first main event? And then you, you kind of figure, you play cash games, you kind of figure out ah, okay. uh, what type of player they are. And this will show and play because especially in day one, you will see really quickly, there's a lot of players who will very rarely make it past day two. Yeah, they play too passive, they play way too many hands, they, they play too... This, I would say, is like 40% of the field. They, they um, make too big mistakes with the absolute strong hands. So when they have you know, aces, they will just make really big mistakes, um, especially 150, 200 big blinds deep, because they will just not fold. Um, so, so identifying this is really important. Um, and then also knowing where you can bluff and, and where you just should always have it. Now this is a bit more harder yeah, to, to tell, but what you explained right now was a small mistake that I did yesterday. I always try to catch up how they play, but it's much easier to talk with them and get a feeling about them this way. So because also also because I played against the population so much already. I played like hundreds of thousands of hands against these type of players, or maybe you know tens of thousands at least, um, and. When you play that much, if you know someone is in a category, I don't need to know exactly how he plays. I will learn that later, but just knowing that you know he's that he's 50, that he is weak passive, that he comes, you know, generally plays much less as a hobby in a home game, like I already know, okay, you know, he's not bluffing wide enough, he's not taking any weak over bad spots, he's not. Uh, caught, you know, like you know a lot of things already, which is the typical population of a player like this. Same like you know online. So identifying this, I think, is the biggest, uh, the most important thing in in the main. And then 
I'm generally because a lot of people think oh you just gotta play tight and wait and I think that's totally wrong like I think the value comes from knowing where to be tight and where to go crazy because there were a lot of spots I was I was bluffing crazy because I know they, they always fold and um, yeah that's I would say for me is the most important thing around I think we have to go yeah Let's do it. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're good. Thank you so thank much. You. I need a picture ID when you get a second. Okay. What kind of muffin did you have? From the TG lounge. What? From the lounge. Yeah, I know, I know what kind is it. Banana, is it blueberry? Oh, what are you I'm, going with? I'm very bad at predicting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it an everything one, then, right? Alright. It's, it's okay. It's uh, okay. We were on the same table last night, right? Yeah. you were at my table in the main so basically you would credit me for all of your success uh, most of it I would say yeah okay that's yeah. that's all I needed to hear thank you Fedor for the time appreciate it sure. I'm not so much off the radar just not playing the WSOP so much so uh, I, I stopped playing a bit less uh, online and live but uh, we've been doing a lot with poker code so coaching more people and less playing myself but uh, it's it's still a lot of poker around me so this is poker news I'm Tiffany Michelle it's the main event Thanks so much for your time. Uh, give me a dinner. Pizza off us. Follow me. Where are you going? In uh, Wolfstown, wahrscheinlich. Then kebab. Da war ich schon viermal. Aber es ist gut, oder? Ist gut, ja. Ja. Ist gut. ja. Also, ich glaube, die. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob noch irgendjemand. Ist noch irgendjemand in Live, den wir kennen? Uh, Tom. Ah ja, wo ist der? Uh, Amazon Orange. Aber wo er jetzt danach hingegangen ist, weiß ich nicht. Okay. Ja, dann, uh, ich glaube, ich werde da hingehen. If you start the shuffle, complete the hand drawn and deal three more hands. Please ask for bags. We will get to you as quickly as possible. Once you finish bagging, you're more than welcome to exit the Amazon room.
That pen saved you. That pen saved you. I had room eight. Yeah. I would have called because I was standing there and like it's only queen ten. But it's only fucking queen ten. I, I wanted to call, but then he like sit back, completely relaxed in his seat, yeah. and I was like, no way, he's, he's no way he's yeah. bluffing in the last yeah, round. His so body language said it's like no bluff, yeah. but the situation was like only queen ten. I lost a decent sized one with ace jack, I'm seven three three jack for where I go back that bet, and big one wakes up with kings. I say go out and play some golf, fucking have some beers with the boys, have a fucking good time, you know? That's my philosophy. I don't want to fucking do solders. I've, I've been playing since 2004, because Moneymaker boom. I got it! It feels like I'm going to lose. <laughs> hey, Mike, you got it? I got it! You got this too. Yeah. Sir, sir. Oh, oh, I can't tell. Not yet. I think we get it. I think we get it. <laughs> Oh, what a dream!